Hello and welcome to How Not to Draft Magic the Gathering. Today we're doing another March of the Machine quick draft because, well, I'm cheap. And this is the cheapest draft there is to get into it, only 5,000 gold. So let's go ahead and hop on in and see how bad I screw up today. Okay, so our first rare today is Quintorius Loremaster. Exile target non-creature, non-land, create a spirit, sack a spirit to cast a spell that you had exiled. So more of a red-white spells kind of thing. We can give that a shot. Alabaster host intercessor, very good. Uh, the plane cycling is amazing. Having uh, the exile effect on the body is just a I mean, this card is is bonkers good. Uh, so definitely will not wheel, but if it does, I will be so happy. Furnace Host Charger, another land cycling card, uh, also on color. So I wouldn't be upset if that wheeled either. Merpolis repurposing is, uh, yeah, some good removal. But it's in black, so I don't know, we'll see what happens. So we are going to go ahead and start off with Quintorius Loremaster and see if we can't build some kind of red white spells deck. Alright, so pack two we get Kulta and Maverin. Uh, see, so whenever he attacks, I can make a really big creature. Or a lot of really small creatures. So, I mean, that is another really good... Whoa, I didn't mean to actually do that. Alright, well, I guess we picked Galta and Mavern. I wasn't necessarily meaning to, but hey, it happens. Uh, what do we got in this? So, I'm really looking at heavy white. I might go either red or green, but it looks like white is definitely on the menu. Uh, the flying backup would be pretty good. Uh, first strike would be knights. I don't really think I'm on knights. Uh, let's see, as far as red goes, we've got lithomatic barrage. Very situational, but very strong in that situation. Uh, Burning Sun's Fury, eh. So I think our real choice here is between Crystal Carapace, which um, has cycling or red cap heal slasher which can back up first strike onto a creature of these two carapace is probably the better pick but something's really pushing me towards heal slasher i don't know why it's just one of those gut feelings that are usually wrong so that's what we're gonna go with in this pack we've got uh, core halberd Nice equipment gives vigilance, shatter the source, decent damage uh, with convoke. But honestly, the best card in this pack's got to be Shauna. So it looks like that's kind of really heavy, heavy more on the white green. So I don't know. I still haven't made up my mind which path we're taking yet. So this pack has Tidal Terror and Island Cycler. Uh, once again, those land cycle cards are really good. Um. Invasion of New Capenna. I'm not in black though. Streetwise Negotiator. Creatures assign damage equal to its toughness rather than its power. I mean, all of my stuff is kind of star star, so it doesn't really matter. The backup can be relevant though. In red, we've got. Eh. Volcanic Spite is really good. So, between Spite, Carapace, or Negotiator. I would probably go for Spite here for the removal because nothing else really... Maybe I'm just going to go red, green, and splash white. <laughs> Who knows? Okay, here's my buddy the Etched Familiar, but I think we're going to pass on him today because we're not in black. So here we've got Furnace Reigns, gain control of target creature till end of turn. Scrap Chomper, 1-1 one, one for 1. Thrashing Frontliner, a 2-2 two, two Trample that gains plus one if you're attacking a battle. Backup Death Touch. 
and a double strike. I think I'm going with the double strike here, um, especially with the backups. They can get really big and do a whole lot of damage. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and do that. SRAM, whenever you cast an aura, equipment, or vehicle, draw a card. I unfortunately don't have a whole lot of those, so I'm probably just going to pass up on him. But really, the rest of the deck doesn't really call out to me a whole lot. I mean, Fertilid's Favor, probably the best thing in the deck. Or SRAM. We'll go with Fertilid's Favor for the ramp. Um... If I do end up going green for Galta, I'm definitely going to want the ramp. As far as colors go, we've got Peretic Prankster. That's a lot of investment just for a sack target. Uh, Hanger Scrounger, backup creature, that's really good. But I am not going to pass up Surge of Salvation. It's like possibly the best protection card in the entire set. So yeah, that is definitely coming with me. And so now we are back to my first pack. So we see that Ray of Wield. Uh, so that is a possibility. What else we've got is Furnace Host Charger, the Mountain Cycler, and Atrax's Fall. Destroy Artifact, Battle, Enchantment, or Flyer. I'm thinking with the messed up pile that we've got building so far, the Cycler is probably going to be my best pick here. If I do splash red for like the the heel cap slasher or quintorius then i would definitely want that uh Trax's fall would work with quintorius because i could uh exile it to make a spirit that would require me going three colors and i'm probably gonna cut one of my colors later on i don't just don't know which one so we'll take the cycler for now well shit I guess I should have taken Rayev because the only thing here is a Halberd or a Kite Sail, both of which are equipments, which both Rayev and Sram care about. So, yeah, I think I screwed up, but out of these two, flying probably has the most benefit. Alright, looks like Crystal Carapace Wield, so cycling is good, enchantment is good. Uh, for this one, Shatter the Source is the only thing that matters. Another Carapace. Uh, we'll go for the 1-1 one, one for 1. And a Plains. Alright, pack 2. We get Voldaren Thrillseeker. Another red card. Or Rada Coalition Warlord. Red, green. So either of those would actually help. Alright, so I think we're going with the Thrillseeker here. Uh, it does have backup too. Uh, Sunblessed Guardian actually looks kind of interesting. When you transform it, it uh, creates a copy of itself with all the plus one counters. Um, but as far as our colors go, taking the red rare uh, would obviously push us more into red white. And we've got one, two, three, four, five different cards that could wheel off of red white. So that seems like a pretty good pick here. Rada would probably be my second pick because you could go red green and then splash white for like the Belly Rider, the Surge of Salvation, uh, stuff like that. Oh my goodness, all the red white. There's like no green in this pack at all. Okay, well, I guess we are moving out of green, going more firmly into white red. ETB incubate whenever something transforms it gets a plus one counter. Lifelink. Furnace host charger looks a really good. Uh, backup first strike, really good. Or backup double strike, also really good. Yeah, we'll have to take the double strike over the first strike. I am worried that my curve is getting a little too high though. Uh, let's see, what do we got here? Emery, we're not in blue, so I'm not really going to worry too much about him. Although that is a really good card. Alright, so we've got Scrappy Bruiser. Uh, gains plus two and trample until end of turn and then bounce it. Doesn't really work too well with backup. Well, maybe it does work really well with backup. Because I could put 
his plus two ability on red cap heal slasher and then heal slasher would bounce back to my hand I could then cast it again to back something else up that's an interesting interaction enchant artifact or creature okay uh, realm breakers grasp nice removal I think I'm going with the removal here another heal slasher another billy rider and an inquisitor I'm gonna go with the billy rider because the double strike uh, if you can back up a couple things on that is really good all right we've got some decisions here uh, Norn's Inquisitor for the third time I really don't have a whole lot of transforming going on though so he doesn't really do a whole lot aside from just give me incubators Invasion of Belanon transforms into an Anthem, which would be really good. Uh, cut Short, really good removal. Sunder the Gateway, also really good removal. That gives you a 2-2 as well. Shatter the Source, once again, Convoke Removal, destroys... Well, deals damage to Creature, Planeswalker, or Battle. So we've got three different removals and an Anthem to pick from here. This is not an easy pick. I am going to go with Sunder the Gateway. Because at three mana for Invasion of Belanon and Cut Short, I've already got uh, Billy Rider and Thrill Seeker. Well, Cut Short has Convoke, which means that I could basically cast it for free. Alright, we're going to go with Cut Short. All right, here we have Angelic Intervention. Gains protection from colorless or color of your choice and gets a plus one, plus one counter. That is really good. Uh, Dune Shaper is a one drop that transforms into a 4-3 Trample. So either of those are really good cards. I honestly think I'm going to go with the one drop creature here simply because I've my curve is getting really high. I need some things to do in the early game. And having a 1-2 that transforms into a 4-3, that I can keep backing up and making bigger with Trample just seems like a really good early play that I can keep playing on top of. Okay, this one's got not a whole lot of anything. Uh, a lot of green, which I'm not in anymore. I think Kite Sail is probably the only pick I have here, unfortunately. Alright, here I've got another Halberd. Wow, a lot of blue. Blue is really open this pack. Or Aerial Boost, which once again with Convoke means that I could essentially cast it for free. Uh, pop that on top of some of my Double Strikers, and yeah, that could be lethal real quick. Alright, so from my first pack, uh, Serpent Blade Assailant did wheel, but we've kind of decided to go with either white or red. I think out of these, the backup flying is nice, but at 5 mana, I that is a lot. So I think I'm gonna go with the mountain cycler I can do a three four flying for five or I can do a five five haste for six at least the five five haste for six is kind of on curve with what it should be this is just really weak Okay, so here we have a 2-2 lifelink, which can get backed up to be really big. Or first strike if a knight entered. I don't think I have a lot of knights. So we're going to go with the cleric and with the lifelink. Uh, the only red card is the convoke, so there we go. Uh, nothing here really looks all that good. suppose we'll take a Trax's fall. I don't know. Alright, well, there was nothing in those four packs. Alright, final pack, and we get a second Voldaren Thrill Seeker. Wow, okay. 
Uh, what else we got in here? Realm Breaker's Grasp, really good removal. That's really it. Scrap Chomper, which is a 1-1, one, one, and Shadow of the Source. There might be a play for taking Realm Breaker over Thrill Seeker, but we didn't see a whole lot of white or red getting wheeled around, so honestly, I think I'm just going to take the rare here. I can find more uses for this by pushing damage through. Oh, wow. We got past Invasion of Tarkir. Uh, so it's a two mana shock, and if I can do five damage to it, I'll get a 4-4 four, four dragon that shocks every time it attacks. I mean, yeah, I am not saying no to that. We are definitely taking Invasion there. All right, in this pack, we've got another Shatter of the Source. Hallbird, Furnace Gremlin, none of that really looks too promising. Invasion of Dominaria, gain four life, turns into an angel. I mean, okay. Uh, Daxos, toughness equal to devotion to white. Whenever a creature ETBs or dies, gain a life. Okay. I can, I can go with that, some life gain. It would be either that or the invasion. I do like transforming it into a Sarah Angel. I do not like that I have to do five damage to it first. So then we'll go with Daxos here. Okay. Here we've got Karsus Depth Guard, which is really good in a backup deck. Uh, because, yeah, it's a 4 3 for 3, but any backup onto it will get it to 5 power, and it can immediately start attacking. Um, so, like, it can't attack the turn it comes into play anyway. The next turn, do a Heal Slasher, and boom, there you go. Uh, Kenra Spell Spear is another very, very good card. 2-2 um, two, two Trample Prowess is good on its own. You transform it into Trample Ward Double Prowess. So anytime you cast a combat trick, it gets plus two, plus two on top of the trick. So that is really good. I don't think I can pass that up. And it's a two drop, so I need some lower end creatures anyway. Actually, I've got a lot of two drops. So in this pack, we've got a Phyrexian Sensor, which I'm not really on Phyrexians on this one, so that might actually hurt me more than it helps. Uh, Sun Blessed Guardian, I do like that with the backup um, because the plus one counters remain and will come on to the clone, so that's a really good one. Bola Slinger would be another pick here. Uh, ETB, or whenever it attacks, you tap something down so you can get rid of their best blocker. But I think we're going to go with the Guardian here. I don't know, we'll see what happens. So this one we've got a 2-2 two -two flyer for 3. Uh, whenever it hits I can transform an incubator. I don't really have a whole lot of incubators going out so that reduces its effectiveness but I do have inspired charge which gives all my creatures plus 2 plus 1 till end of turn. So that might be a way to go here. Uh, also shatter the source. Uh, 6 damage to a creature, planeswalker, or battle. I think I like Inspired Charge here. Oh look, a second one. Uh, but I think I'm going to go with the Heal Slasher this time. Let's see, Thrashing Frontliner. We'll go with Shadow of the Source on this one. So I don't really have a whole lot of battles, so he's basically just a 2-2 two -two for 2. And like we said with the Sky Warden, the flying is nice, but its second ability does nothing in my deck. Another Shadow of the Source. I think I'm going to take the 1-1 one, one for 1 here. If I do get flooded out, I can use him to draw extra cards. Uh, let's see, on this one, we've got Scroll Shift. Uh, Flicker is really good with backup. Uh, speaking of which, we've got our Golden Scale Arianaut again, which has uh, backup flying. But I think the Scroll Shift is going to be the better play here. I kind of want to take another shot of the source here. Um, 
just seems like the better play. If I was doing more battles, then the Slasher would uh, be more appealing to me. But it's just a 4 3 minus for 4 in my deck mostly. I think we're going to go with Shatter the Source. Javelinier, really good. Uh, 2 damage to target player or battle. So, yeah, we can just keep him uh, back, just chucking those javelins. Up to two target creatures gain plus two and haste. Or coming in hot gains plus one and first strike. Of those two, I think coming in hot would be best. I've already got three Shatter the Sources in my deck, so we're going to go with the Bane Splitter on this one. Alright, so let's make some cuts here. Uh, with Quintorius, I actually do want to keep kind of spell heavy. He can get back equipment. He can get back my battle. Um, so that's actually not too bad. I think I'm going to go ahead and drop one Shatter of the Source just because I don't think I need three of them. Uh, we're going to keep my removal in. Aerial Boost does give flying... I'm definitely keeping my removal there. Uh, I'll probably get rid of that one. Let's go ahead and drop the kite sails for now. I might bring them back in. Surge of Salvation coming in hot. I do like it. Uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and cut Bane Splitter for now. I don't know why I'm so anti artifact. Okay, so I need to cut six more cards, and I'm not sure how or where. I think we'll go ahead and cut my host chargers. Um, the haste mountain cycling is nice. I don't know how much of a play they're going to have though. I think I want to keep my deck as low to the ground as possible and kind of stay aggro and use Quintorius as my top end to kind of flood out with spirits and get back some of my tricks. We'll go ahead and drop Scrap Chomper. I do seem to be more red than white. Daxos uh, having the plus one whenever something enters and dies is really good. I do really enjoy that. I just don't know what to cut. I suppose we'll cut coming in hot and Daxos. Um, that hits 40. I don't know if this is the best 40. Uh, let me know in the comments below. What would you have done differently? What cuts should I have made? Uh, should I have stuck to more of the white green because Galta is just so pretty. Um, let me know in the comments below and while you're down there go ahead and put a like on this video so that I know that you uh, are out there watching so that I can keep making more of this stuff. Alright so let's see how white red backup plays. Alright we've got yeah this is I mean uh Five is kind of high on the curve, but I've got stuff to do in the meantime. Let's start off with our one drop. So we'll throw our damage in. Um, I could keep up Volcanic Spite, but I'd rather add to the board. Okay. I don't really have a 3-drop, but I can go ahead and shoot down the Cavalier. Put a card from my hand on the bottom of my library. Sure. Yep, I figured they were on white blue knights. All right, so now we've got some options. I can drop uh, Kithkin Billy Rider now, and maybe I will get a uh, land next turn, or I could transform Kar Tarkir Dune Shaper. 
I think we're gonna go with the transform here. I can back up the Sunblessed Guardian next turn. Or I could transform it. Uh, actually, if I transform it, I might be able to squeak lethal here. Because he makes a copy of himself. And wow, we just got there without opponent doing anything. I feel kind of bad. Well, I don't have a turn one play, but I do have a turn two play. I can turn two into it, make it a four, four lifelink. I mean, that sounds pretty good, right? Let's see what opponent's got. Will they mulligan down to six? Okay. Uh, white, blue knights. Yep, okay. Is this the same person I just bought? Well, there goes my plans. Um, I mean, I don't really have a reason to keep him around now. I suppose we'll just drop Thrill Seeker as a 3-3. Swing in with first strike. I am not going to block that. There's no reason. I do get another thrill secret. That is nice. Alright, so let's go with... We'll go ahead and back that up. Okay, yeah, we'll take a chump off of that. I'm okay with trading heal slasher for cavalier. Unfortunately, I can't block the flyer, but I will go ahead and trade that. Their first strikes cancel out. Okay. Let's go with... Guardian and Volcanic Spite this turn. So I'm going to go ahead and... Swing in. Bait the block. No blocks, okay. So then we'll go ahead and cast some Blessed Guardian and hold up Volcanic Spite. Did I not play a land this turn? Oh, okay. I'm still gonna hold up Spite. Okay, that's fine. He's gonna attack in. We'll go ahead and burn that guy. I mean, he was gonna do it anyway. That's unfortunate. I probably shouldn't be attacking here. I'm in severe danger of dying if he just cracks back. I mean, yeah, I'll go ahead and make that trade. That keeps me alive. I could have, probably should have sacrificed her to keep God. I'm so stupid. I should have popped throw a Voldaren Thrill Seeker here to kill the 2-1 Order of the Mirror. That would have kept my 4-4 alive. And then maybe even popped him for that. Now I'm just dead. I have to shatter the source on the flyer now, otherwise I just die. I take the two here so that way I can drop Dune Shaper as a blocker. A 
and just hope he doesn't draw a burn spell. Any removal and I'm dead. And they don't have it. Alright. Barely squeaked by that one. Oh man. I thought that Thrill Seeker punt was going to bite me in the ass. Alright. This is a hand that I cannot keep. I mean, I've got a turn one, turn two, turn three, except I have no planes. If one of those was a planes, I would keep this hand in a heartbeat. All right, this is a little better, but not much. All right, so we'll keep that. We'll unfortunately have to tuck uh, Inspired Charge. Mountain, mountain, here you go. Another mountain. And a Furnace Gremlin, okay. Let's go with Lifelink. Let's see what you got. Oh, they're also on red. Oh, that's not good. I might be a little uh, in the eft now. Well, we'll go ahead and drop this anyway. We'll shoot the gremlin, let him incubate again. So now he's got two one ones that he could pay two mana for. Okay, going to. If that's the best he can do on his turn, that's actually not bad. Oh, hell! Where's my land? Yeah! It's not good. Yeah, that happens. Give me a land! Alright, I can work with that. So I've got a blocker now. Unfortunately doesn't do much for the skies. Oh, that's not good. That's really not good. Yeah, I definitely need a mana this turn. I didn't get a mana this turn. Oh god. We'll go ahead and double tap the heal slasher. But I can't afford to attack. On the double striker, yeah, that's just got me. I'm dead. I can't do anything. Missing that land drop really hurt me. Yeah, that double strike is going to kill me. Oh well. Not much you can do with Mulligan into land screw, so you just, it happens. Alright, I don't have any low end creatures. Wow, I mean, but I guess we'll keep it. Hopefully I'll draw one. I really don't want to have to wait till turn three to do anything. Do you know how far behind I'll be on board if I have to wait until turn three? Oh god. All right. And it's an invasion, so I can't even freaking burn it. I suppose we cast Thrill Seeker on herself. 3-3 three, three for 3. Who boy. We're getting the value now. Another invasion? Oh, Okay, well it only does one damage to her. That's... Oh, but he flips his bat... Oh, that's, that's not good. That is not good for me. Discard a card, create two elementals. I mean... 
This sucks, but I have to. Uh, we will go ahead and tuck Inspired Charge to draw Aerial Boost. Okay, that's nice. We'll go ahead and hold on to that combat trick. I might need it later. Rada, okay. Yeah. That's a thing. But not if I don't have another land. Ugh. All right, well, Heal Slasher it is. On Thrill Seeker, maybe that was the wrong play. Rada does say other, so it can't pump itself. Oh, that's not good. 4-4, four, four, they're gonna swing in. Okay. Oh, he's not. He's not. He's not doing it. He's not doing it. This is definitely worth not attacking this turn. Please don't have a hasty 5-5. Five five. <laughs> Skittering Surveyor, I can handle that. Gets a forest, plays a forest, and... Well, that is hasty, but it's not a 5-5. Five five. You could have attacked with it. Alright, let's go with... I believe Quintorius is my play here. Uh, he can still crew the dread ship. So I'm only gonna attack with the heel slasher. I assume he didn't attack the dread ship so that he could keep it on defense. Uh, let's grab sure, shatter the sword. Opponent's thinking about something here. Alright. I guess I can't really do anything about that. Uh, or I can. Six damage doesn't kill a 5-7. Oh yeah! Woo! Combat tricks for the win. Well, I've got a shock. That's really about it. I don't even like shocking that. Because they can just get it back to up their game plan later. But, whatever. Hopefully I'll draw my fourth land and I can do something next turn. See, that would have been a much better shock target. All right, well, there's fourth land, so I can at least do something next turn. Another Realm Breaker's Grasp. That's really big. So 
I think he's looking to transform that next turn. Uh, so honestly, I think I should shatter it. Uh, sure. Let's go ahead and attack the battle. Maybe he'll let me have it. Nope. Okay. I think we're just going to go in at this again. He's going to go ahead and chomp. That's fine. was way too much damage to do to the the battle and it wouldn't have done enough to him he is he's gonna transform him next turn to kill my scald so I think I need to do an all-up attack Push as much damage through as I can. Okay, alright. This is a good trade. Alright, so that got rid of his guy before he could get rid of my guy. I like that play. I could have done Inspired Charge instead and done an extra four damage to him. Ravenous sail back. Haste or well he can't really destroy anything of mine, it's probably gonna be haste. But if he swings in with it, it it's just gonna be stupid. He is? Okay. He's gonna try to race me. So three plus two is five, four plus two is six. So that's twelve. And 5 is 17. And he's at 18 life. That is crap. Alright, so we'll send that over here. That up there. And we'll go ahead and inspire charge. We'll take over the battle. And that's enough for the opponent. Alright. I wasn't able to just swing out and kill him because he would have had one life left, but with the uh, invasion of Tarkir flipping, he didn't have an answer to that. So, a win's a win. All right, so I've got white. I've got a turn two, three play. All right, let's go ahead. Unfortunately, there's nothing I can really do on turn one. Let's go ahead and drop Guardian. I'll be able to transform it here in like, you know, three turns, maybe. Ooh. All right, so I can either back up the Thrill Seeker onto Guardian, which will let it uh, swing in as five fives after I transform it, or Belly Rider. This is a tough call. Um, either, well, I guess that made my call for me because I would have backed it up before I attacked. I could shatter the source onto it. I think I'm going to go with Thrill Seeker. On Billy Rider. Oh, 
Oh, wow. That is a really good card. I mean... Alright, I might as well do this now. Caps me out completely, and I still have to sack a creature. Oh, wow, that hurt. That really hurt. Uh, sure, we'll go ahead and prevent that from happening. that one from blocking and I believe this should be a lethal attack aggro for the win wow through a shoulder even Woo! well we've got mana we've got early plays hopefully I draw into a mountain there we go uh, let's see Let's go with Kenra Spell Spear, cause why not? I could do Belly Rider, but let's go ahead and activate Spell Spear, swing in for a couple. The ward should prevent early interaction. Okay, so he gets a knight, that's fine. Um, because I actually have an invasion of my own. Which will get rid of said knight. Oh, that's it. Opponent's like, screw this, I'm out. <laughs> well, that didn't take anything, did it? <laughs> yep, we've got almost the exact same starting hand as last time. Maybe, uh, my opponent will quit early again. Hello, opponent. Uh, we will go ahead and start off with a turn one creature. Unfortunately, I don't have any of the prowess for him. So I think I'm looking at backing up some Blessed Guardian. That seems like something he's likely to trade. So I think I'm going to offer the trade. No, he's just going to take the damage. Okie dokie. Um... All right, then yeah, we'll go ahead and throw the Guardian out. Spell Spear might have been the better play. I don't know. If I had anything to prowess onto it, I probably would have. Okay, well, that did not go as planned. Opponent is apparently playing a lot more aggressively than I thought they would be. A lot more aggressively than I thought they would be. Alright, we'll go ahead and see what kind of battle combat trick he's got. Okay. What? Oh, protection of color. God, that's so bad. Alright. We'll back up the shaper. Swing it on in. He's just gonna let it hit. Okie doke. Is he swinging on in again? We'll go ahead and block there. And shoot there. And what you got? Tractor. All right. No 
locks. Drop Billy Rider. Probably should have dropped Javelin here. What does that do? Oh, nice. So yeah, that's gonna hurt. Should I attack? Well, I think I should. He's probably gonna do that again, make it a 6-6. Six, six. But that's fine because he doesn't know I have this other thrill seeker in hand. As long as he doesn't kill the As long as he doesn't kill Doom Stomper, I think I win. Because I can Thrill Seeker onto Doom Stomper and then just fling it at him. Yeah, that's fine. I'll go ahead and block here. He's all tapped out. He's all tapped out. He's all tapped out. He doesn't know it's coming. Thrill Seeker. Back up Doom Stomper. Doom Stomper. Fling it at your face. Yeah? Yeah? Opponent's trying to figure out what the heck just happened. And they're dead. Ha <laughs> ha! Woo! Made it! No idea how, but we got there. Oh, that's it. That was uh, our seventh win. We made it all the way to seven. Back up, coming through. Let's see what we got off our packs here. I didn't realize that was game seven. Uh, let's see, we got Timuril, Chosen from Death. That's pretty good. Seraph and Nukapenna. We saw that one. Uh, what's our rare is... Invasion of Chandelar. Return three prunes from graveyard to hand. Just put something from your hand into play. <laughs> Each upkeep, yeah, just here's something for free. Oh my goodness, that card is busted. And what do we get here? A lot of new cards. Oh yeah, I love that guy. Plain cycling. We got Rona. Herald of Invasions. Talarian Obliterator. Whenever damage is dealt to Obliterator, they exile a card from their hand at random, and then you get to cast it for free. Oh, that is awesome. And our... We got Goreclaw, our Multiverse Legend, is our rare slot. We got two rares out of that pack. That is awesome. So, yeah, that was a great draft. I did not expect that. Uh, if you thought this was a good draft, hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel for more draft content. Uh, and I'll see you in the next video. Yeah, that was, that was pretty amazing.